Um, hello, today we are in a special restaurant which serves mainly acorn food dishes. Acorns are very traditional food in Korea and people really know how to detoxify them, how to make them less bitter or not bitter at all. And um, they use acorn food quite a lot. Of course, it's a bit traditional and it's a bit associated with famine in old times, but some people still really like this food. And this is a unique restaurant. You can see here this part of the menu. It's all acorn food. Acorn jelly, ac acorn pancakes, and different kinds of soups and noodles with acorns. Um, just have a look how beautiful they are. Acorn pancakes, acorn salad with, with jelly made of acorns, and um, soup with pieces of acorn jelly with sesame seeds, kimchi, all spice with sesame seeds. It's very typical for Korea. And of course, the classic side dishes always served with Korean food. And many thanks to my friend who guides me here. <laughs> he really helped me and to find this place. I'm really, really grateful to him. I'm trying the pancake. It's kind of chewy. It's kind of you have to make it quite thick because you know it's not uh, it's not like wheat flour which binds easily. So we have to make a thicker layer to actually work. I don't know the recipe exactly. Maybe they add some wheat flour, but it's quite thick. But it's delicious. It hasn't got a trace of bitterness. Yeah, people often ask me, tell me how it tastes. It tastes wonderful. Yeah. I'm sorry I'm speaking so quietly, but there is a trades union meeting in another room and they hush me down all the time. Good. This is the jelly. Looks like chocolate. Mm. Very light. Not many calories because it has not many, much density actually. Acorn flour has these jellifying properties, so it just absorbs water and the actual concentration of starch is not so high. And the soup. The soup tastes like soup. The soup is made sour with kimchi. Really good. Really good. And this is the soup. When I drank some of the water, you can see uh, the jellied noodles at the bottom. The soup also has kimchi, has uh, seaweed, has um, some kind of chai zolik and um, lots of sesame seed and of course chili. Now I'm trying the torimuk. Uh, now I'm trying the torimuk in a different town in Songchun and it's it's supposedly uh, more bitter. Mm. Yeah, it's much more bitter, but also deeper taste. More nutty. Really nice.